This is a lab helicopter unit at the University of Southeastern Norway. This unit has two degrees of freedom. It can be lifted up and down as well as it can be rotated. To lift the pitch or the nose up and down, we supply voltage to this front rotor or propeller. And to do that, we can use this slider and the corresponding up and down angle or the pitch angle is shown here. In order to rotate the helicopter, we can change or supply the voltage to the back rotor and we can use this slider. And the corresponding rotational angle is plotted here. The excitation voltages to the rotors are plotted in these two graphs. This for the front rotor and this is for the back rotor. Now let us see this helicopter unit in action. There is a peculiar behavior that this helicopter unit shows and uh, that is uh, something about the dead band. Uh, for example, now I will like to rotate this helicopter, then I have to supply or increase the yaw voltage so that this pushes the helicopter towards the anti-clockwise direction and to do that now I am going to change this voltage. So now it's about 0 0.7, now I will change it to about 0 0.9 or 1, so as you can see the voltage has been changed, but the yaw angle remains unchanged. So this change or this increase in VMY has no effect whatsoever on the yaw angle. So there is a certain band of yaw voltage that has no effect on the yaw angle. Now, to actually rotate this one, we have to supply quite a large amount of voltage and then it rotates. Now this is how the real unit responds with a certain dead band and uh, the challenge is that uh, um, the mathematical model which uses physics to describe the dynamics of this helicopter unit, if you supply this increased voltage to the mathematical model, then this yaw angle is going to change. It's not going to remain like you see it here. For example, let's look at this figure. This is the rotational angle and you can directly see that the dotted red lines, the experimental data do not fit very well with the model response. Here is the area or the reason where the rotational angle shows no response, even to changes or the increase in yaw voltage. However, the model, because of the increased voltage to the back motor, it immediately starts to increase. In reality, the angle remains exactly at the same place. So these things uh, make this unit uh, quite challenging and it's very interesting to see what kind of solutions can be utilized to you know, address this spatial dynamics that this particular unit shows. What I believe is the reason for this uh, peculiar response of this unit is because when we were constructing this unit, we put all of these wires inside this tube and as a result when it rotates it uh, kind of creates some twists and uh, some sort of uh, resistance to movement I suppose but I'm not very sure about that but um, if there exist uh, solutions uh, in order to capture such kind of dynamics uh, that would be interesting to look into.